Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, it's me Kirks and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video and we're going to be going over ways to improve your Bloxburg builds. So I'm going to share 10 different tips to improve your Bloxburg builds. I really hope these tips bring your Bloxburg house to the next level and help you become a better builder, an even better builder than you already are. And I have, I have a, a question, question. do we do like, like this video? Sorry for my really creepy character today, I feel like I felt a little crazy today, so let's get started and go over these 10 tips. My first ever tip would be to not oversize, oversize your, your rooms. rooms. I often see the mistake that people oversize their rooms and it makes it look really empty, empty and it's really hard to decorate in general. So for example, you can see I made this kitchen only 4 by 3. This kitchen is only 4 blocks by three blocks you could even say four blocks but it's, overall this kitchen is you would consider it to be small but when you look at it it's actually really well decorated and, and i had a really easy time to decorate the whole kitchen whereas if it was bigger it would be much harder and cost way more to decorate this kitchen to my liking but as you can see it still has plenty of space to move around make your little meals but it looks 10 times better than if you were to make your kitchen huge and have it be half empty we can also see the same thing here with the living room that i made this living room is also four by three but you can see it's really well decorated and it still has plenty of space to move around relax lounge in your area and it's actually really pleasing to look at and not begging to be decorated add structurals on the exterior of the house so as you can see i added these structurals on the roof that made it look 10 times better and it made it pop out these things on the roof made it more detailed and added realism to the house honestly overall completing the whole look of the exterior in my opinion you can even add pillars on the side to make it look even more better and don't forget your wall trims my favorite are just these basic the flat crown molding and the flat Bait. You don't even have to add structural, you can just add wall trims and pillars and it'll all build to look way better than if you add at all. Also, don't forget the structurals around your window. Mm -hmm, Y'all, put them around your windows because they make the windows even pop out and look more customized. As you can see, I did put some around the windows and I did a little like thing here. I don't know what, I don't know if that's even a thing, but I just made it a little longer at the top and shorter on the sides and it looks super cute in my opinion. Another tip that would correlate with the X here is add more garden as you can see i did add quite a lot of duck garden in this house still maybe i could have added more depth to the gardening but i didn't but even just this amount of gardening actually makes the house so much better than if you were just to leave it plain with grass as you see i added bushes leaf plants a bird bath and a fun fact about these is birds actually come down here and go in the bath so you can even add these around you're gonna have a bunch of birds flying around your house which is gonna look so cute especially for spring builds that's gonna be the cutest ah, and oh my god look it's a bird look guys it actually popped up look it's taking a little tiny bath see how cute that looks. just this little area looks so cute with the little bird oh my god it's so cute you can also add those insect houses inside of your bushes if you want butterflies to fr fly around as well it adds so much nature to your house and makes it look so much cuter for the spring. Another tip that would go along with the gardening aspect is to add custom plants. As you can see, these custom plants add so much more detail to the whole overall build versus if I just use the regular plants in the game, which all very much look similar. So these custom plants add more depth and realism to the house and make it look much more realistic. The same thing on the interior, I also use custom plants as you hear this is custom this is custom that plant is custom the mirrors overall just using more custom stuff and being creative with all of these decals will really help your house look more realistic overall just make it cuter another tip for the exterior would be how you design your pathways so this is an example of a really base pathway that i designed it's just two pathways going straight and one connect cross you can even add some depth like this it's really easy to add depth as you can see i've added this little dip also going along 
along with all this custom stuff because in Bloxburg, there's only so many with basic in-game items. You can always spice up your house with some custom items and one of these ways to spice up your house with these custom items would be the windows. Look at this window y'all, it's custom and I based I just used the clear window and added some structure which is really easy. You just grab some basic structures, add them across and down and you can also copy and paste it to the, all the other places you want windows in your house and it looks so much better than the regular. Of course if you think you can't make custom windows you can always just use the in-game windows but also line them with truck like this and it makes them look more custom and more realistic and overall just enhances their look even more. I don't use custom windows in all my builds and when I do I use custom design. When I don't I just grab these kinds of windows or any other windows and add them there to make them look a little bit better. Another way to make your build stand out is customize your furniture. So these chairs might look like they're unusable. They might look like I made them completely custom but I actually didn't. I just added a couple of structurals and made them look so much better. So these are actually the mid-century actually just added a couple of on the back of the chair these three things and this is structural and then I added some arm armrests to the chair and that made it look so much better than just if then just if we compare it with a regular mid-century chair you can see the one that I made cost quite a lot better than this one so that's another easy way to really improve your builds a lot the same thing you can see over here with these couches I just these are just temporary sofas but I added a couple pillows on them and it make really just enhances their look a lot because the pillows really makes it look like I put more effort into the couch. Probably one of the most important tips would be pick a color scheme that really complements all the other colors that you add along. So for example, here I have a cute little dark navy-ish fossily blue. I actually use the color wheel for this but you can also just use fossil color. and I paired this with a light little background, some light whites. I also, as you can tell, I did not use all the shade of white it's a little darker cream white this is a bright white this is a marbly white and white i use different kinds of white that really make it look like and that really make it come together also don't forget your acts like these gold act throughout the knobs of all the furniture in the house and i feel like these different shades of each color really make the pop more and bring it all together it's like all these colors are just complementing rooting each other on and it looks really good together i often see that people just use sometimes a bunch of random colors in their houses and that really makes your house look a little bit tacky there's nothing wrong with that but it does make it look lightly a little bit tacky so stick to a couple of colors and experiment around see what really works well anyways guys i hope you really enjoyed this video also just a quick warning if people come up knocking on your house door after you listen to all my tips wanting to be adopted um please don't sue me for that um it's not my fault that you listened to my amazing tips and became a better builder overnight. And remember, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you enjoyed these tips, share them with your friends. And let me know if you think these were some good tips. And any other tips you may have for other people, leave them in the comments below. We can all help each other out with some tips and all become better builders together.